And welcome back guys, that is actually something we didn't plan first, but we have here <laughs> with us Ronaldo Arbuas. Hi Ronaldo. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so Ronaldo, <laughs> we, uh, we just decided to make a quick interview with you. You won the Class A America qualifier. So I will be asking you the question in English. You will be translating that to Portuguese. You're going to be answering us in English and you will be answering although in Portuguese. So that's going to be oh. like dual language okay. at once. So okay. Oh, just a minute. É, ele está falando para mim em inglês, eu estou traduzindo para vocês em português, pessoal. Ele está falando que eu fui um dos vencedores da, da qualificatória do Master Overclock em Arena. Ele vai me fazer as perguntas em inglês e eu vou responder para ele em inglês e depois em português. E como eu não falo muito bem, então eu vou dar, dar meu melhor para vocês todos aí. Valeu. <risos> tá bom. <risos> <risos> ok, então, so, Ronaldo, como um, você se sente ser o primeiro em na América hoje? I feel happy because uh, I really like Master Overclocking Arena. Uh, more than than to to win or to to participate is to join the best overclockers and and to be in the uh, overclocking behavior uh, behavior envi overclocking environment. Okay, and and live for one week with the best overclockers and is is really very nice. Uh, ele perguntou. Como é que eu me sinto é, de estar tá participando do, do, da final do Master Overclock em Arena por ter sido o primeiro classificado? E eu falei que eu me sinto muito bem, não só porque eu, eu tenho, vou participar para ganhar, mas porque é um ambiente muito legal e que os caras são muito legais e a gente fica uma semana internada no, no meio de uma das pessoas que a gente gosta. Good. Uh, you had a strong score in, uh, in all the stages to finish first. How did you prepare? Did you bench a lot for that, or you just spent two days doing this? No, I just benched uh, one week before the the end because uh, uh, usually I, I I was benching much more uh, Ivy Bridge E, you know Ivy Bridge E and and uh, Nvidia uh, 780 Ti is much mm. more. more. Then, uh, since the qualifiers uh, was mandatory, the the 290x R9 290x and mm. is is mandatory to use Z97. Uh, I moved to Z97 in, in uh, AMD, and uh, I got I got a card from a friend. Okay. But the video card is not able to do uh, 1600. When the guy sell me, uh, he told this card is good, but he, he can he, he can get about 15, 1550 or something like this. But we find some good tweaks uh, for the card, and uh, we we need to improve the scores and kill the the MOSFETs. Oh, then, <laughs> then our chances go down, but but we 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 sent some scores and I asked to to hardware boot if the score is valid because the system information I, I used is not valid. Uh, the same case from Gunslinger is the same, exactly the same. Uh, mm. Then we we look for another alternative. And we we removed the the MOSFET from a uh, uh, reference uh, 290 uh, AMD mm -hmm. and changed the MOSFET and the, the car the car can work properly. So that's a proper zombie car quite much. You didn't yeah, do, yeah. You didn't <laughs> change the PWM, but you changed yeah. some part of the of the. I think, the I think we we removed the 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 phase that the PWM from. Uh, a reference card and put in the the lightning and works well. So uh, we we learn a lot about this because uh, uh, it's not uh, very strong because it's very hot PWM and we 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 cannot give the we cannot we cannot get uh, too much cold and we cannot get too much hot the PWM. Mm -hmm. uh, it will change a lot the scores. And we improve, improve. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can improve too much this this score because uh, we only work about two days hard mm. in the Unigine Heaven. Uh, 
Okay, I see. Um, uh, you can do it in Portuguese actually now. Yes, yes. yes. É, o que eu falei para eles, eles falaram assim que eu tive uns resultados legais e, e que eu me classifiquei em primeiro nos três, e se eu me preparei muito antes. E na verdade eu não me preparei muito antes, a gente tinha a placa, e quando eu recebi essa placa de um amigo, é, ele falou que ela devia fazer uns 1550 MHz, e ela, na verdade ela pegou muito mais, porque... É, a gente descobriu umas coisas nela, como refrigerar o PWM, essas coisas, e, e tentando dar o máximo, a gente queimou a placa. E como a gente não tinha outra, a gente trocou os bosfets dela, e ela funcionou legal. E a gente conseguiu uns scores bastante legais, mas a gente acha que dá para melhorar eles mais, com um pouco mais de paciência e esforço. A gente não teve muito esforço, o nitrogênio no Brasil é muito caro, um monte de, de coisa aconteceu, mas foi legal que a gente pegou em primeiro, isso foi uma coisa bastante boa para gente. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny to to listen to some Portuguese. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm used to that at home, so that's fine. Th th uh, there are there are funny episodes because people told the I shit in the super pie tragedy too. <laughs> it's not true. I don't need this, okay? <laughs> yeah, finally you finish first on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I post a video. My, my people knows about the video. Some I, I don't spread too much, but. I, I I decided to to make a video and show. Hey, we don't need to shit. This is real score. I see. Um, what is the the score? Uh, is that Super Pi uh, three Mark O three or Uni Giant? The one that you are the uh, the pro the most proud of it. Uh, so far in Guinea because because uh, I I was benching uh, uh, new benchmarks for too much time. Is uh, for the people is more important. The, the newest benchmarks. Uh, I love uh, 3D Mark 03 and I love Super Pi also. But we cannot keep always for using Windows XP, Windows XP. It's, it's, it's really too old. Uh, it's nice for me, but I'm a legacy. I'm an old guy. I'm an overclocker lo lots of time. If you need newcomers, new people, we need to show. In Guinea Heaven is, is amazing. People show, oh, nice, nice. But if you, if you when you show 3D Mark 03, for, for example, they will show, oh, this is, this is a little bit old. I don't know. I don't. So uh, is the, the the reason I give much more focus to uh, new benchmarks and 3D. Okay. okay. But it's not because I don't like. Uh, if you if you want to know my opinion, my personal opinion. Uh, I think from the all old benchmarks, the 3D Mark 03 is the most equilibrated. I don't know the, the, the uh, balance. It's the most balanced. Uh, balance, much more balanced because you need too much CPU, too much VGA. It's not like 05 or 06, you need more CPU. It's a 3D benchmark, but this is more CPU. No, 3D Mark 03, you need too much CPU, too much VGA. So it's very balanced uh, benchmark. I love, uh, you need tweaks, you need, uh, you need it all. But uh, Unigini for me is better. Perfect. Uh, you can do it in Portuguese uh, now. Yeah, sure. Okay. É, eu tô falando, ele tá perguntando para mim é, dos resultados que eu fiz, qual que me causa mais, me dá mais orgulho, mais assim... Uh, Orgulho de ter conseguido. E eu tô falando para ele que de longe é o Nigiri Heaven, porque é um benchmark mais novo e eu tenho focado os benchmarks mais novos já faz bastante tempo. Não porque eu não gosto, porque eu gosto dos benchmarks antigos, mas é, eles são mais importantes porque a tendência mesmo é que os benchmarks usando o Windows XP eles já vão sair, não adianta a gente querer manter para o resto da vida benchmark super pi, isso não é tão agradável para o público, é agradável para mim, que sou velho, faço isso há muito tempo, mas as pessoas que entram agora, elas querem ver frames por segundo, FPS, coisas assim, né? É, então a gente, a gente foca mais nos benchmarks mais novos, foca mais em VGA, em placa de vídeo, e a gente, pô, graças a Deus, conseguiu um resultado super legal que, que trouxe a gente aí. Foi, acho que, o, o segundo melhor resultado do mundo. I do like actually this kind of interview, like between like English and, uh, okay. and, and Portuguese. No, no, it's nice. I think you need to do this for other countries also. Sure, that's <laughs> actually what we yeah. were discussing with Timothy earlier to this show. Um, one, my, my last question is, um, well, we're going to see you in the 
final. We don't know yet. Actually, we know, but we cannot tell yet where that is. Uh, we'll see you in a uh, in few months for that. Uh, until then, uh, well, good luck, and uh, you can say uh, hi to all your Brazilian fan. Okay, thank you. And <laughs> uh, I would like to tell to all people not only from Brazil that uh, uh, I I give thanks for uh, all support and all all. Because the people is very, very kindly with me, and I would like to all that I will do my best to win. And my main focus uh, still will be the, the freestyle because I, I like to, to try to break records. And uh, sure, I will try to win the classic, I love the classic also, but uh, freestyle for me is the best. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, let us. me translate. Yeah. Sure. É, eu vou falar, vou falar para vocês todos que eu agradeço a recepção calorosa que eu tenho não só no Brasil como no mundo todo e que apesar de que eu vou tentar ganhar o, o clássico, lógico que a gente sempre tenta. O que eu gosto mais mesmo é o freestyle, que eu gosto de, de tentar bater recorde. Se a gente conseguir, vai ser muito legal. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Bruce, for your time. Have a nice. Thank you. Bye bye.